Hello and welcome here. In today's video, I will be showing you how to make thumbnails on iPads. I've been using this method for quite some time now. I use it to make thumbnails for this YouTube channel and for all other projects I have on the site. I will be using my iPad Pro for this video, but it goes without saying it works with all other iPads as it is a web-based application. So let's get started. The website that we will be using for uh, making a thumbnail on iPads will be canva.com. I will be using the free version, so hang on and let's see how it's done. It's very easy to use. You go first to create a design. We will go to custom size. We'll go to 1920 by 1080 so that we are sure we have the right dimensions. Create a new design. I have already dropped the two photos that I want to make thumbnails on. So let's see how it is done. First, we need to uh, import our photos that we want to make the thumbnails on. Let's go to Uploads, Upload File, Photo Library. I have took them on my phone, but I have airdropped them to my iPad. It's very easy to do. Then we can go to Add. And you will see in a minute why I've done the template to be 1920 by 1080 because you can have a, a photo of a different dimension like this one I've took on my iPhone as a screenshot from the video that I've took so it wouldn't be a, an ideal dimension to make a thumbnail on I can now just uh, cut it accordingly and I've just noticed I have this uh, bar from the iPhone but it's okay, I will just cut it out from the picture now it should be good and let's see how I can add text to the photo I will go to elements and I will go see these are free ones that you can search for as a square or anything that you like from these you have a circle shape you have all this arrow circle you can all see uh, all of what you got here and many of them are free some of them are paid but you don't need to use them most of the time like I have never used any paid uh, element from uh, Canva and you also have designs, pre-templates, if you want to use. There are many free ones like this, 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 and many more. But some of them that have this pro version are paid. And you need Canva Pro to access them. But as you see, for my case, I don't, use, uh, don't need to use any template. I'll just put this box. I will uh, change its size accordingly. Then let's see where I want to put it. I'll leave the text for a little bit. This looks about right. I don't like this color. Let's put the color that I like. I think this one should be good. Now I can uh, write the text that I want. Thumbnails on iPads should be good. Now, as you can see, the text is in white and it is in a very small size, which is not ideal. Let me just increase the size from here. I think that should be good. Now, I also want to change the color, so I can do it from here, from the A. I think black would be more, would be better. Just select the text, then I can go to the black color. Yeah, that looks much better. Let's make it in bold, it looks a little bit better. So I think that is good. And you can even change the type of the uh, text whatever you like many of them and most of them are actually free the ones that I'm using is Canva Sans I really like this one see that is good but I want to add another element so let's uh, just repeat what I've just done I want to put for free let me just put it in caps And let's put two exclamations mark. 
and I can just repeat the process that I've just done. But I want this one in a smaller. Form and I can just repeat what I've done and just increase the size accordingly I just want to put free in bold so I can do that and I want to put it in italics in italic and when you are done you can just uh, press the share button download and you can uh, put the file types that you want I like to uh, get it in jpg and you can just download it and you will have it on your ipad ready to go and use for any of your projects thank you for watching